So this will take uh, water out of a underground tank and uh, pressurize the water for a sprinkler system inside of a school. This will do 2,500 gallon a minute. It's a 10 inch piece of pipe that feeds this. So we're uh, a manufacturer's rep for a fire pump company. And we buy and resell fire pumps for use in high rise buildings, senior centers, uh, hospitals, nursing care facilities. We're keeping the people that you know, are frontline responders uh, safe while they go to their work. A fire department uh, will come into a burning building and connect hose to a standpipe valve. And that valve has pressure because of the, the pump in the basement. That's kind of augmenting the water supply to that building. You know, these buildings are too tall. The hospitals are, uh, you know, uh, they, they need extra water. And, and the, the pump just adds pressure to the water supply that comes into the building so that the sprinklers work properly. Company, there'll be pumps in here that take water from Lake Michigan. So I can pull in a bracket for the I mean, I, I tell the guys uh, when they first get started, uh, you have to treat it like your mom's in the building, right? You don't leave the job till the job's done. A uh, job could take longer than it has to, but at the end of the day, that equipment has to stay in service. Um, the work you do, it's not a matter of if it's gonna save somebody's life, it's a matter of when. And you have to approach each day with, with that mindset that this is going to turn on at some point in its existence and it has to work and it has to work right the first time or somebody you love in that building is not going to make it home to their family. We're, we're a fire protection business. Everything's painted red. It's an emergency every time the phone rings. And if I wanted nights and weekends, I'd have worked on sewer pumps or yeah. you know drinking water that pumps where if it was down for a couple hours, it'd have been no big deal. Yeah, everything, everything's an emergency all the time. And we had a hand in getting uh, the TCF Kobo set up. Our equipment uh, is installed at the Suburban Showplace where they turned it into a, a temporary COVID hospital. I like to think the work that I do every day in saving people's lives is, it's the right thing. You know, it, it may help me meet my maker one day and, and say, you know, I've done my part for humanity. Oakland County actually came to my house and delivered us thousands of masks uh, and, and gloves to keep our guys in, in the field safe because I think they felt the work we were doing was some benefit to the community. We've been the only passenger on jumbo jets coming back on some of these flights. You know, we're still out at some of these places assisting with some of these systems that needed to come online. You know, f food distribution and uh, you know, petrochemical and, and schools and you know essential business these little guys are like um they're called jockey pumps it's a little booster pump that uh, gets installed alongside of the big fire pump and i like this to the best bartender in the world so if that that sprinkler system uh has a small leak uh you know, atmospheric pressure changes temperature changes sometimes that pressure varies in that system and this guy um, just tops off that drinking glass. If that sprinkler system takes a small drink, this sees it and keeps that glass full all the time. So the big pump doesn't come on and run. In relation to fire safety in a building, a lot of people don't know this even exists. And the work I do on a daily basis means that if there was a fire in a building, uh, any one of those people inside that building would be able to go home to their family because of the work that we're all doing here.